This pattern is called Bibio Marcy, after the natural with the same name. It is also known as a hawthorn, and it is important for a short period of time in late spring. The hook and device is a Kamazan B175 in a size 14, and the thread is Benecci 12 volt in black. And I simply attach the thread near the eye run it down to the end of the shank, halfway between the point and the barb. The first material on will be a small amount of black seals fur. Simply twist it on. and form the abdomen. Second material on are the legs. I make them from the tail feather of a magpie, mostly black with a greenish sheen. One of the uh, fundamental characteristics of this fly is when it flies about or lands. It's got long trailing legs. In order to imitate those, I have knotted two barbs of the magpie. And they go on on either side. The second pair on the side of the closest to me. The waist is trimmed. bring the legs a little closer to the body. There is a hint of a wing on this fly that I will imitate with some uh, Gutemann uh, hollow shimmer. Just a bit of flash in a translucent sort of pearly color. I only take two strands Tie them in on top. They will be trimmed shorter later. Next on will be the thorax wing case. Take a little bit of black foam for this. And I just cut it into a slight point at, for the tie in. The thorax will be two colors. There's a hint of red-orange in the uh, upper part of the legs of the insect, and I'll imitate that with some hot orange seal spur, just a tiny amount. Next on, another bit of black seal fur again, just a very small amount. And it blends in with the orange. Next, the foam gets pulled over 
and cinch down, lifted. Simply finish off the fly with a three turn whip finish. And trim the foam short for a small head. The wing is now trimmed to about the length of the end of the hook. And that completes the fly. We have a bit of orange that sticks out. So we have the sprawling trailing legs. The foam will aid in floating the fly. That completes uh, BBO Marcy.